Elon Musk is doing what nobody expected him to do. He pondered long and hard about what it meant to truly acquire Twitter, and now he appears to be reconsidering. From the onset, Billionaire confirmed putting a $44 billion plan to acquire Twitter temporarily on hold because he needed additional information on how many of the social media site's accounts are spam or fake. Musk, who later acquired the influential social network he uses to communicate with his nearly 93 million followers, cited in a Reuters article from May that referenced a securities filing showing that less than 5% of Twitter's 229 million daily users who saw ads in the first quarter of this year were in fact fake accounts. The Twitter deal is temporarily on hold, pending details supporting the calculations that spam or fake accounts represent less than 5% of its users. Still committed to the acquisition, Musk tweeted later. Right after that, Twitter's shares fell 8% to $41.16 per share. So how bad really are spam bots on Twitter? Let's break it down and go over the details, shall we? On Twitter, bots are automated accounts capable of doing the same things that real people can accomplish, such as sending out tweets, following other users, and liking and retweeting other people's postings. However, spam bots use these activities to engage in dishonest, violent, and unpleasant conduct. It is possible for spam bots that have been built with a commercial incentive to tweet non-stop to attract attention to a website selling a product or service. Concerns were raised over the potential role that Russian bots may have played in the outcome of the 2016 presidential election, which was ultimately won by Donald Trump. Musk stated that one of his top priorities after revealing his ambitions to acquire Twitter is to crack down on spam bots that promote schemes involving cryptocurrency. These bots can be utilized to disseminate false information and push political objectives. Spam bots can also spread misleading links to bogus giveaways and other money schemes around the internet. He made this statement after announcing his plans to acquire Twitter. Typically, bots are allowed on Twitter, but such accounts must specify that they are automated according to Twitter's guidelines. The platform has even created a label for good bots like at TinyCareBot. On the other hand, spam bots are not allowed and the corporation has measures in place to prevent them from functioning. Policy violations are urged to be reported by users. Accounts exhibiting suspicious behaviors are locked. To reclaim their accounts, users may be required to submit extra information, such as a phone number, or complete a recapture challenge, which requires them to solve a riddle or type in a word shown in an image to prove they are human. Twitter can also ban spam accounts permanently. However, can Twitter's security be improved? Amazingly, Musk certainly seemed to believe it could be. Later, he stated that he wanted to strengthen Twitter by providing the platform with additional features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, fight spam bots, and authenticate all humans. Making Twitter's algorithms for content moderation open source procedures might help the site gain credibility by allowing anybody to inspect its code, discover flaws, and offer changes. Increasing the adoption of security mechanisms such as reCAPTCHA could assist combat spam bots as well. Multi-factor authentication, a sort of identity verification in which users must identify who they are and confirm that they indeed are human by utilizing another communication channel such as phone or email could be expanded by Twitter. The corporation may also increase its machine learning procedures so that they could identify spam bots based on their Twitter behaviors. However, security can be challenging for social media companies like Twitter that rely significantly on the usage of mobile apps. This is because apps are frequently more vulnerable than websites which can be viewed using an internet browser on a desktop or a laptop. Web browsers such as Google Chrome automatically update and improve their security settings in the background without Twitter users being aware of it. When it comes to mobile apps, users typically have to perform the update themselves before installing a new security patch. This is necessary to avoid any potential vulnerabilities. When it comes to data protection and privacy, more established technology businesses like Google or Microsoft have larger security departments than their counterparts in the social media industry, such as Facebook or Twitter. 
What then are the potential consequences for Twitter if Musk does not address the problem with the bots? From the analysis, there is a potential risk that Twitter will lose users who are annoyed, disturbed, or even harmed due to spam bots and fraudulent activities. Persistent security problems may also attract the attention of regulators who seek to exert more control over Twitter and the technology industry as a whole. On the flip side, a stricter crackdown on spam bots could have the unintended consequence of reducing the number of users on Twitter by removing bogus accounts. But bots or no bots, it's rumored that Musk is considering pulling out of the deal. Terminating the arrangement, however, would cost Musk $1 billion due to a termination fee included in the agreement, according to an SEC filing on the 25th of April. However, Elon Musk is not one to just walk away from his offer to buy Twitter by paying the $1 billion breakup fee. He runs the possibility of being sued by Twitter for breach of contract, which could cost the world's wealthiest man billions of dollars. When Musk and Twitter reached an agreement last month, they agreed to a $1 billion reverse termination fee. Nonetheless, the breakup fee is not an alternative payment that permits Musk to leave without penalty. A reverse breakup fee is paid by a buyer to a target when a deal cannot close due to external factors such as regulatory intermediation or third-party financing difficulties. A buyer may also walk away if there is fraud, provided that discovering inaccurate information has a substantial unfavorable effect. A market drop such as the recent sell-off that has caused Twitter to lose more than $9 billion in market capitalization would not be sufficient justification for Musk to quit, breakup fee or not. Suppose Musk withdraws an offer just because he believes he overpaid. In that case, Twitter could sue him for billions of dollars in damages and the $1 billion charges, according to lawyers. Because Twitter's stock price has been declining, we think the weight could be a negotiating strategy to convince the corporation to lower its sale price. Twitter shares tumbled more than 8% in one day and are now down almost 23% from Musk's agreed-upon purchase price of $54.20 per share. This month, part of the drop can be attributed to the broader decline in technology equities. From the day Twitter accepted Musk's offer, the Nasdaq has dropped another 11%. Even if the world's richest person is price agnostic, he may feel obligated or pressured by other possible Twitter investors to lower the price. Musk is currently negotiating with outside investors about reducing his personal interest in Twitter through equity and preferred financing. If he can secure a lower price for Twitter, the rewards for outside investors could be more prominent if and when the company is resold or returned to public control. But indeed, it appears he can still bail out, though Musk stated that he was still dedicated to purchasing Twitter. Considering the losses he's incurred on paper due to his Tesla shareholding, Musk may be inclined to abandon the project. This is because Tesla stock has dropped almost 24% in the previous month. Musk might decide that walking away makes sense if he believes his Tesla losses are attributable to his Twitter acquisition and are big enough to justify the $1 billion termination fee and any further damages he would face in court if he loses. But he'd also have to cope with the reputational consequences of breaking a deal. Musk's track record makes it hard to imagine any future company risking selling to him. Twitter might not have many viable alternatives besides negotiations with Musk. The company would certainly like to avoid a costly, drawn-out legal battle. When Twitter agreed to sell to Musk for $54.20, the board decided not to pursue a higher price because there were no other purchases at that price. Given this year's value slide in competitor equities such as Snapchat and Facebook, Twitter's board concluded that it was unlikely to return to higher levels very soon. Twitter's best outcome may simply be to accept Musk's lower offer. Do you support Elon Musk in finishing what he started with Twitter? Or is he better off by just focusing on Tesla and SpaceX for now, when many experts expect a new financial recession coming? Let us know what you think in the comment section and see you in the next videos.